Recovery Time, Wednesday, June 3rd, June. I'm still doing story time on my back porch. But the library, we're getting ready to open. Not sure exactly what day will actually be fully open. I still think that's a far, far enough away that we can't say. But next week, you can order books. You can start ordering books now on our website or call the library. There's somebody there every day. Order books and then come pick them up next starting next week. We'll call you and make an appointment for you to come do um, uh, drive through service, I guess you'd say. And we'll come out and give them to you in your car, kind of like um, the grocery store. All right, so just so you know. And that's also good because summer reading actually kicked off on Monday. You can sign up on our website or you can call the library and sign up for summer reading. And it's going to be like every year you, you read lots of books and you count your time and you earn tickets for our grand prize. Just like all the other years we've done that. Okay? So you can still do it this summer. Things are changed but still the same. So we're looking forward to everybody signing up and getting some books read. And when I read to you for story time, I think that book counts. Okay. All right. So first of all, let's get some rhymes going here. Um, I wasn't sure which one to start with today. They're all just in a little shuffle here. So I'm just going to pick one. Let's see. That one's always our last one. So I'm not going to use that one. So I'm going to pull this one out. Trevor, do you know which one that is? I know you do. How about you, Leia? I don't know who's here. I'm just saying names. Anna, you know, Aniston, is Hazel there, Xavier, Miranda, this one is Itsy Bitsy Spider. All right, let's take our fingers and put them together like this. That makes our Itsy Bitsy go up, right? All right, you ready? The Itsy Bitsy Spider ran up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to sit to be centered. This is confusing. Still. Still confusing. Alright, who's this guy? That is Fuzzy Wuzzy. Was a bear. All right, ready? I don't need that. I can hold that up somewhere. Ready? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy. Wuzzy. And when you don't have any hair, do you know what the word for that is? It's bald. Bald. All right. Here you go, Trevor. This one is the one that you like. All right, we see the shape is that. It has one, two, three, four, five points. That's a star. Can you get your twinkles ready? All right, here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. All right. Yeah, that's the ABCs. I can hear you guys screaming in the story time room. It's the ABCs. Wish I could hear you now. Soon, I know it, sometime soon, maybe in the fall. I'll see you all. All right, ready? Here we go. I'm going to start up here with A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? You're the airplane? Airplane song. I'll have to find one. Who's that guy? That's
that's our pal, that's our buddy, that is Baba Black Sheep. And you know what? I found out a friend of mine, I may have told you this already, a friend of mine just got a black sheep that lives in her house. She doesn't have a farm, she has a house. And she said that she could bring him to story time when we start up again sometime. I was so excited. And actually, I might try to go visit her and take some video with her, Baba Black Sheep. And I, oh, I was going to tell you his name, and now I don't remember. Eh. Oh, well. Ready? Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. And Xavier always tells me he doesn't live down the lane. I guess Xavier just lives in the neighborhood. What do we see? We haven't done this one in a long time. All right, down by the station, we have a train. And what color is this? What color is the engine? It's like a silver gray, isn't it? It's not a really black engine. And what color are the cars back here? They are red. And what is this? That is steam smoke. This must be a steam engine, I'm guessing. All right. Do you remember? Can you get your, your train pistons moving? I think they're called pistons. We'll just say they are. Ready? Here we go. Down by the station early in the morning. See the little puffer bellies all in a row. See the station master pull the little handle. Puff, puff, toot, toot, off we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's another one we haven't done for a while. Who's that egg? That is Humpty Dumpty. And where is he sitting? He is sitting on the wall. And what happened? He had a great fall. Wall and fall sound the same, don't they? That's called a rhyming word. The ends of their word, the words rhyme, and they have a different beginning sound. Fall, f, fall, f is f, and wall, w, is w. All right, ready? Here we go. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. All right, pull this one out. It's going to rain today. You can tell by the way the leaves are turning backwards on the maple trees. They have the silverbacks showing. And um, it's really hot out right now. At 4, 8 o'clock, it was already 80 degrees on my back porch. So that's pretty warm. Uh, what else? There's lots of clouds. It's a beautiful day to play outside, though, I think, but it's really steamy. Really steamy. So let's do this one. This is called I Hear Thunder. Ready? And it, it goes like, I think we've done this before. It sounds like thumping. I hear thunder. I hear thunder. Oh, don't you. Oh, don't you. Pitter patter raindrops. Pitter patter raindrops. I'm wet through. I'm wet through. I like that one. I like that tune. All right, another summery one because summer is almost here. We have about three weeks and summer will be here officially. But today it feels like it's here now. Finally, all this, my yard is green. It's green, there are leaves. My garden is growing. When we started, it was snowing. It was snowing two weeks ago. What am I saying? All right. This one is, here's the nest for the robin. So make the nest with your hands. Very good. I know you guys are doing it. You cup your hands together. Here is the nest for the robin. Here is the hive for the bee. Here is the hole for the buddy. And here is the house for me. I have to back up so you can see my house. <laughs> All right. The cow is jumping over the round moon. All right, starts off with silly words. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with a spoon. And diddle and fiddle are also rhyming words. Di 
diddle starts with d, d and fiddle starts with f remember all right one more our last one there's our grannies all right ready these are grandma's glasses and this is grandma's hat and this is the way she folds her hands in her lap these are grandpa's glasses and this is grandpa's hat and this is the way he folds his arms and takes a nap all right it's a good day for a nap too in the air conditioning i'm sweaty all right since summer is coming not officially here i brought this brand new book from the library. It's called Summer Song, and it's by Kevin Hankus, and it's illustrated by Laura Dronzek. I really like Kevin Hankus's books. The artwork is always so beautiful that Laura does. I think she's done all of his books. I'm not sure. I always thought he did them. Now I'm going to have to go back and look. All right, I want to show you something in this book before we get started. Look at those pretty end papers. That's what they're called, end papers. And you see the artwork on them? I wanted to show you this. You see this? Some of our books have these labels in them, and when somebody um, passes or if somebody has a birthday, people buy books in their honor or their memory. And this one is in memory of Marcia Campbell, and it's presented by Lutton Funeral Home. And Marcia Campbell's family goes went to my church, and so I know her son, and I just wanted to point that out. But there are lots more in the library like that. People like to honor their loved ones with books in a library. More on end paper. Summer song. And what is that? What is this little guy down here? He's really cute. That little frog. And what color is he? I was just talking about this color, about my yard is all green. Great. In this part of the book, Authors like to tell people that this book was written for someone special. And this book was written for Will and Clara. I'm not sure who they are. They might be Kevin's children. I'm not sure. All right, here we go. You ready? Look at that. That is summer if I ever saw it. Here we go. The summer sun is a giant flower. And the flowers are like little suns. Little suns of all different colors. Do they look the same? Do those daisies look the same as the sun? They have a round center and rays coming out. These have a round center and rays coming out. There's a bee. Bees. But if I had to pick one color, I'd say summer is green. Green on green on green. Summer is a green song. Look at all of that green. Even the water is green. Have you ever seen green water? It has algae growing in it. I've seen that at a pond near Newcastle a lot of times. Oh, look at that. If there is tall grass in a field and the wind blows, it sounds like music. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful that is. Look at the kitty sniff in the air. And the bunny's sniffing the air, and they're listening to the music of the wind. It's windy here. Oh, that breeze feels nice. Most of the time, birds are part of the song. In the air, of the sky, and sometimes rain and thunder are too. That might happen today. We'll have to make sure and we'll check outside later. Did you hear the birds chirping in my yard? He stopped now because I was going to talk about it. They're chirping. If you lie in the grass and, are, and you're quiet and patient and lucky, you might hear a bug song. Whirring and buzzing and humming. Do you ever hear a fly buzzing around your house or outside on the porch? Or bees buzzing? Do you remember the big bugs last summer that were really loud? <laughs> Those were, I call them locusts, and I know that's not what they are, and their name just went right out of my head. <laughs> that's okay. They're pretty much the same in this non-scientific brain of mine. Are there bees? Yes. Grasshoppers? Yes. Crickets? Yes. Dragonflies? Yes. 
and silent butterflies too. Look at all those flowers. And at night, are there fireflies? Sometimes, they're coming out lately. I've seen a couple. There's one, and another one, and another one, and another one, and one way up here. They're singing to each other without a sound. <gasps> when there is fog early in the morning, summer is a gray song. And when you go to the beach or a lake, summer is a blue song. And when the sky is blue too. I'm hoping to go to the lake this summer. But the green song is still there. Look how beautiful it is. I just love green. If you slow down and think about it, you can feel the summer song. It's warm and then hot and then hotter. This ice cream is melting. Can you see that? Have you been in your pool yet? I think some of you may have been. In the shade, it can be cool. Oh, wrong side. Or when you play with the hose. Have you done that? I was watering my plants with mine this morning. But when the days become shorter and the nights come earlier, the song changes. Summer gets bored. Wants to try something new, something different. The song is turning, turning, turning. It's turning into fall. We aren't there yet, not even close. It'll be here before we know it, and maybe I'll see you then, but it's not here yet. What do we see in this picture? This is really cool, I like this picture, these end pages here. We see a squirrel and some acorns and a pumpkin and apples and colorful leaves, but not fall yet. Oh, look at that, the end papers are different. We started with summer and we ended with fall. Wow. Very cool. All right, you guys. Um, so don't forget that th there is summer reading sign up. Call the library. Somebody is there. Um, if they're not there, they're probably at lunch. Leave a message because we're only working one at a time so far. But that's okay. And if you um, want to order some books, you can do that. And we have pickup starting next week. <sighs> finally, finally. All right, you guys have a great day.